Spicy one here, chaps and chaps, it's Game Chef on Party Hard. Yes. Yes, but it was an I dare say we are discussing here a very exciting new announcement from Nintendo made today in a Japanese presentation of theirs and concerning some new hardware, old chap. We most certainly are, old chap, yes indeed. Very exciting and very big news indeed, I might add. Yes indeed, old boy. As you can see, firstly in their presentation they outline the fact that soon there'll be some new updates coming to the 3DS whereby the home menu, as you can see, can be customised with themes. For example, Mario, Zelda, etc. and so forth. Yes, they're going to have those new themes in there, which is rather different and a new thing to add. But the really big news is... They're going to bring out an entirely new and completely revamped 3DS. Yes, indeed, Fadeos. And as you can see, here's our first look at that new 3DS, which they are calling the new, as it were, 3DS. They're actually using yes. the new name as a brand. As you can see, they're showing off Super Smash Brothers, etc. and so forth. One of the first things you may have noticed is, of course, they can tilt it from side to side without distorting the image. There's a new right button there, as you can see, which is actually like a circle pad, but it's a button-shaped pad of sorts. Yes. And also, the unit claims, or they claim, it's a lot faster. Well, that's very interesting, yes indeed, because I've never really had a problem with the speed of the 3DS, but I have had with the 3D effect. Sometimes I just can't see it. Now, what they're saying now is that the 3D will be visible, as they say, from all sides, when you turn it to the side, etc., as well as just looking to the front, as we have at the moment. That's right, of course, everybody. There's a ZR button and ZL on the back. The cartridge slot is now at the front, as is the stylus. And of course, what's more, you'll also be able to place these amiibo figures onto the bottom screen if you wish. Even the buttons on the unit are coloured now like the Super NES buttons, which of course is a bit of a throwback in itself. Ah, oh, so there's new cards now. Smaller, so it's not SD card, but I think it's a micro now, isn't it, uses? That's right, of course. Indeed, the back cover of the unit is also removable. Now, as you can see here, there will be initially, certainly in Japan at least, two colours for each size at launch. The new Nintendo 3DS regular size is in black and white, and the new Nintendo 3DS LL, as they call it over there, or XL, is in blue and black. And of course, as you can see, I think quite a smart look there. Most certainly. Now that little circle button they've got at the top right is very interesting and will yes. be very useful to navigate around. Yes indeed, of course, it'll add an extra element of control to some games and of course forms a very much needed right circle pad, which previously was only available as an accessory. Games, for example, like Monster Hunter and some other games, and uh, Kid Icaru, for example, really yeah. benefit from that second scheme of control. Now, as you can see also there, compared up against the original one, it uh, has a rather more, I'd say, matte look to the overall thing there. Of course, the, uh, the various features and parts of the unit have had their positions changed. There are a number of different uh, features and buttons on it, most notably, as you can see, colour-coded buttons there, which, as I said before, are very evocative of the SNES era. Could as be, just like the old uh, SNES pad, old chap. Yes, just like the SNES pad. There it is, old boy. Yes, and there it is, they're demonstrating there. Yes. The new colours, very nice indeed. Yes, and of course with the, uh, as you can see, the right circle pad, or C-stick, as they're calling it, has a little notch in the, uh, the ridge there to allow for the, uh, the, the, the smooth fitting when the unit's closed, and of yes. course also on the larger one of the buttons are also color coded. Interestingly also, I did notice from the presentation the power button is now on the front of the unit, that is the edge of the unit as opposed to being inside it. Yes, definitely on the power button, but just looking at that circle button again, of yes. course you could get an addition that the 3DS sat into with a button circle button on the side, which is a bit bulky. That's and they right. they picked up on that and said, okay, let's build this into the machine, I think it's a good idea. Well, yes, as you can see, there's the, the addition Bertie was speaking of there. It's rather large and bulky, and I did think many times, how could Nintendo possibly get a circle pad on the right hand side because of course it's already there's quite a lot of buttons there and not much real estate but they have cleverly innovated once more with a trackpad style uh, well C stick they're calling it as you can see with the GameCube control there to allow a rather simple button size circle pad to complement the left hand one we already have. Yes, now how it works, in practice, what it feels like and how it responds to the games, etc., we'll have to wait and see. But yes. the idea is certainly there. Well, indeed, Nintendo seem quite insistent that it's very natural. As you can see, they're showing the thumb placements on the button and the circle pad. They really are marketing this as a form of uh, innovative piece of technology, as it were. But as Birdie says, we'll very much have to wait and see just exactly how this translates over the previous bulky circle pad pro accessory. Most certainly. Now, to just make this clear, this is not just coming out from the Japan. This will be a worldwide release. So if you've got a 3DS now, XL, etc., you'll be able to take one of these and upgrade to it. Now the thing yes. that uh, the thing we have to ask, of course, is why didn't they do this at first? Well, indeed, old boy, it's a good question. As you can see, showing there's some gameplay of Final Fantasy Explorers and other new games, MH4G, etc., and so forth. Currently, uh, there's Smash Brothers. Good show, I say. Now, currently, the 3DS, uh, the new rather, 3DS, is slated for a release in Japan this year, but we don't know when it's coming to the States and EU as yet. 
I think there's been rumours that it will be next year for EU in the States. Yes, I think so, Obey. Certainly perhaps a 2015 release showing that, as you can see, ZL and ZR, with the cartridge slot now at the front, as opposed to the back, which is an interesting design choice. There's the stylus there, as you can see, and the power button on the front. New placements for commonly known features there. Most certainly, the ZR buttons, etc. at the back would be a rather useful addition, I think. Yes, indeed, of course, that's a very good question. How are they going to use those, perhaps in new games, etc.? As you can see, the new Nintendo 3DS model is slightly slightly larger than the old one and weighs a perhaps a touch mark more there. At 253 grams it's also slightly thicker, whereas the 3DS LL new model is actually, although slightly larger, it's a bit thinner and therefore a bit lighter uh, by extension, as you can see there. So we're going to, for, for LL, or oh, 3DS XL, XL, that's well, right, we are, yeah. XL owners then, we're going to have a slightly bigger screen, are we? I don't think so. I, I think it's roughly the same size, or perhaps a very, very fractional increase in unit size, but Nintendo are, as you can see, promising an increase of around about half an hour worth of battery life on the top end there, as you can see, which is a small upgrade from the current 3.5 to 6.5 hours for the larger model. Most certainly. Now, it should be said, this is quite a big breakthrough yes. for the 3DS, and a, you know, big news. The thing we're all going to be asking, though, is how much will it cost? Well, it's a good question, Elbai, but as you can see here, this is a new feature. On the left-hand side, we have the new screen, which nice. can actually adapt to your light level and increase or decrease the screen brightness accordingly, which is, of course, a piece of technology that's already on the iPad, but as you can see, it's now coming to Nintendo's portable. When it's dark, the screen will be darker. When it's bright, the screen will be brighter to enable you to play and conserve battery life at the same time time. Aha, that's rather handy. Clever idea, yes. Indeed. Now, I've also heard that the 3D effect, they say they're getting the 3D, so it's 3D wherever you look. Front, yes. side or back, or whatever, not sides. That's a very good point, yes. It's actually controlled by the camera on the front. Ah, you shouldn't say that yet, it's a spoiler, old chap. Ah. Yes, as you can see there, certainly, if I was on the old model of 3DS, when you tilted it to the side, it got all blurry, and you couldn't really see what was going on. In fact, you can't. If you have 3DS and you've tried the 3D effect, you've no doubt seen this many times, and turning off the 3D, of course, remedies the problem. But indeed, on the new model, whichever way you turn it, the 3D is there. Well, yes, which is a great idea, I think, because I've had problems with the 3D sort of effect on the really? XL, yes. Well, interesting. As you can see, they're about to show us turning it to the side on the new model with the simulated look there. As you can see, they're claiming the 3D effect will remain regardless of where you have the screen pointed. And as Bertie hinted just a moment ago, it's a rather clever piece of technology that does that and gives the freedom from that awful blurriness and ghastly strange effect that used to happen. Now, as you can see here, it's not more panels inside the screen, but rather a clever gyro sensor in combination with the camera that actually sees where you are and changes the rotation of the screen to allow for your eye's position. Most certainly. Now, if you're frightened of Big Brother and stick chewing gum over your camera, this won't work. But, well, yes, I suppose see, so. Yes. A lot of people do that. Big know? Brother, yes, he's a nasty chap. He oh. doesn't mean Luigi. I mean, no, not, not Mario. It's no. not Luigi. Mario is Big Brother. No. He doesn't mean Mario. He's not watching. Yeah. Well, there you are, videos. That's a rather clever way, though, of perhaps remedying the 3D problem. Now, as regards the Amiibo technology, owners of the old model 3DS will have to make do with an accessory, whereas the new one here, as you can see, the NFC platform appears to be actually built in, so you can place those amiibo figures onto the bottom screen, like so, and bingo, Bob's your uncle, away you go. Aha! So, yeah, once again, so you don't, you need, don't need an addition for this. It, no. it just works oh, straight off, I see. Straight out of the box, indeed, a rather clever idea there, implementing that piece of technology which is new into the new 3DS model. Now, as Bertie said earlier, also, the new model will have a micro SD slot instead of an SD card, and also, for the first time, you can now easily take off the back plate, remove the battery, etc., and so forth. Aha! So the 3D card being smaller rather than larger? SD card? The SD card, I mean, does that really matter? Well, perhaps not, old boy. I suppose it's stylish, though. I suppose it is, I yes. suppose so. Also, as you can see, you'll be able to use your wireless router to transfer files like music, etc. and so forth from your 3DS to your PC, which saves having to put out the SD card. Aha! Now, they're moving the screen about there. I don't know whether we'll be able to do this in the actual new version that comes out, or whether that's just, just showing I, I think we'll do, actually. Like you can on an iPad. Uh, no, I, I don't think it's that. I think, as you can see, they're showing us here on the left-hand side the faster speed of the new model as opposed to the slightly slower speed of the old model. This is, of course, due to an upgraded processor, which is a rather thoughtful inclusion by Nintendo. They were using, however, both of those circle pads to easily manoeuvre the browser windows, the right one doing the zooming and the left one doing the scrolling, which, again, is somewhat a clever idea. Also, because of the increased processor power, they showed us off a rather impressive graphical trailer of what appears to be in-game footage there as opposed to pre-rendered, showing the various things it can do, and presumably it's going to use this new processing power to give a smoother frame rate. Maybe some of those old games that used to lag and stutter a bit might not be so stuttery anymore. 
Well, it's possible, but the thing is, will they make software that's coded to take advantage of this new processor? Well, I would hope so, old boy. Rather like the old uh, Donkey Kong 64 used the expansion pack for the N64 back in those days, perhaps this new processor, as you say, will allow them to make some more advanced games that run in very, very high frame rates with 3D turned on. Yes, ca can we see on the horizon remaked games coming HD, whatever they are? Uh, HD remakes, perhaps, old boy. Certainly uh, N64 or even GameCube titles. I think the 3DS could run GameCube, and it's certainly a possibility, showing here, as you can see, a new Xenoblade game on the 3DS. Rather fun, I say. Most certainly, yes. Yes, there you are, Fedeos. He's doing a good bit of chopping and slashing there. But indeed, as you can see, many new features here, Fedeos. On the new 3DS, certainly this is a very large upgrade. It's not just a change of plastic. Oh, no, this is a big thing. Well, almost like a new unit, really. It the is. The thing is, as we said... Ah, is that the price? That's the price in yen. As you can see, the smaller model clocking in at 16,000 yen, or about $160, and the larger model at 18,800 yen, or around about 188 and of course, that is slated for release in Japan on the 11th of November. No, October, in fact, this year, which is quite soon, old chap. Ah, so that's in Japan, yes. Yes. But over here, and in the USA, etc., worldwide, we think perhaps next year. Yes, and of course, they might charge more over here depending on how they're feeling at the time. What? Uh, well, we have to see, old boy. And of course, as you can see, there, a desk charger will also be available for about 10 or $12, respectively, as well as various special edition 3DSs, such as, as you can see, they're showing off here a Monster Hunter 4G 3DS uh, with a special. A fascia cover there. Yes. Of course, that game over here is known as Monster Hunter 4 U or Ultimate and will be released next year. So perhaps we can expect to see that system next year. Uh, 25,600 yen for that, $256. Oh, well. Oh, on, on the pricey side, perhaps. As you can see, also, we're getting this in Europe. I don't know about the States yet, but certainly a Super Smash Brothers flavoured 3DS there is also going to be released in Japan in November. Not bad. But the thing is, you see, why didn't they do this at the beginning? Well, it's a or good is question. This, is this a marketing ploy? Uh, well, perhaps. I, I like to think, old boy. Because we've all got bricks now, haven't we? As soon as we say this, yes, we've got yes. bricks. We don't want them anymore. I'd like to think they've just perhaps been doing some research at the HQ there and thought this is a great way to improve and increase the features of our software for our customers. But uh, as you say, perhaps it might be a pricey upgrade. As you're seeing here currently, you can change the faceplates on the smaller 3DS by means of just sliding them on like so, although unfortunately you can't do that on the larger NL model. Perhaps a reason to buy the smaller one if you like travelling and being stylish, it might be the one for you, whereas for those of you looking for a larger gaming screen, perhaps the NL is the way to go. Ah, so the XL, no interchangeable things. No, that's right, old ah. guy. But of course, uh, as you can see, they both have their, e their own features and benefits depending on the person on the buyer. Ah, it's deep. Well, I, I can certainly say for deals. As you can see there, oh yes, that, that's the other thing. Uh, $10 each for the old face plates, which are changeable, as you can see there. But I can certainly I'll leave say, those. Yes, indeed. I'll have this, a bigger screen, please. This is a very interesting new announcement from Nintendo that will certainly have many fans, myself and Covid, rather excited. Although, does this mean, old chap, I, I've just got off 3DS from Japan. Is it now defunct, old boy? Uh, it's a brick, unfortunately. Yeah. A brick? It's my one, and with everyone else, we'll make a 3D heist. A 3D heist? Oh. A 3D house, yes. Good idea. And bricks. So now I need to get a new Nintendo 3DS LL. My, my old LL is no good. Uh, oh, it's right away. Just right get rid of it now. Might as well. Just okay, uh, there we are. Uh, give it to me. That's I'll it. I'll it now. Okay. Thank you, buddy. Thank, you, thank you very much. Just really very handy, old Jack. Most of you. Yes. Yeah, they're speaking not in Japanese. Unfortunately, we can't read Japanese. That's a pity, isn't it, old boy? Well, it doesn't matter. We've covered it all. I think we've covered most of it. Indeed, Fidels, the new Nintendo 3DS is winging its way over to you shortly. It's quite exciting, and no doubt will be brought in with some fanfare in the UK and USA when it does launch. It most certainly is, but, or should, it might be. Now, will you go running out and buy it, or will you say, no, I'm keeping my one? I must buy it, old chap. I, I really must. You know that. Yes, but what, what, what would all the, all the viewers do? Oh, it's time to go, old boy. Thanks, what? I'm joining oh, Fidels. I'm looking forward to seeing you again, uh, I say. Do make your decisions uh, a good as well. What about Jim Cullen?